Oates, thank you so much for this opportunity. Good to be with you. What does this White House hope to achieve through President Xi's upcoming state visit? First of all, it's very important to us that we have regular high-level contacts uh, with China. It's the most consequential bilateral relationship in the world, and we feel that engagement is the best way to advance the relationship. So what we hope to achieve is find areas of concrete progress where we can move forward on climate and energy policy. I think we can set a good example going into the Paris talks later this year. On economic issues, I think we want to find ways uh, to promote more Chinese investment in the United States, pursue policies that can create growth and jobs in both countries, um, but then also deal with some irritants in our relationship uh, on cyber issues on the South China Sea. So there's a very broad agenda. We want to leave here with the relationship in a stronger footing than it was when we came in uh, and demonstrate to the world that the U.S. and China are committed to working together on the issues that are going to shape the future of the 21st century. Right, moving on to some specific issues, New York Times reported Sunday that this administration is trying to negotiate a deal with the Chinese side on a cyber code of conduct. Can you confirm that report? Yes, what we're trying to do is say on cyber issues, um, there are always going to be tensions, there's always going to be, frankly, some degree of uh, espionage that is taking place in the world. What we're most focused on is trade secrets and the ability of businesses to operate without the fear that uh, they're going to be subjected to cyber attacks that steal their intellectual property. So what we've been talking to China about is how can we create the type of framework uh, where we can cooperate on these issues and we can be more transparent. And if we have a concern, we can raise it directly with our Chinese counterparts and know that there'll be follow-up. And I'm sure the Chinese, uh, of course, would have the ability to raise issues with us. So I wouldn't say that there is some formal agreement that has been reached. Uh, but I do think that we've had a constructive discussion about what does that framework look like? How can we address these issues, not purely as competitors, but also as two countries that have a stake in a world in which businesses can operate uh, without fear that their secrets are going to be uh, stolen by cyber actors?